Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we saw tags like HR and BR, which stands for line break and horizontal rule. With that, I got an idea that why not I touch base some of the things on styles so that you can start making your web pages look more beautiful, more elegant. So today is a mini session on how to add styles in your HTML page. This is only to encourage you to keep you going in the series so that you get your learning interest keep on going. OK, otherwise it tends that when people learn HTML, they tend to lose interest very quickly. So I thought why not add some styles to make it more beautiful, more elegant. With that being said, let's get started. This is part eight of the series. Today we are learning basic things in styles in HTML. OK, we'll use the style attribute basically. So how to add styles for H elements in HTML? For now, understand that we'll use style attributes. OK, and if you don't know what is an attribute, you should check out episode number four, where I have covered extensively about attributes. OK, so please do refer to the previous episode. Continue your learning in the playlist and you will master in no time. All right, so we will use the style attributes for elements. You can use style attribute for all the elements in HTML, OK, be it in body, paragraph, HR, like wherever you want to use a style attribute, you can use it. When working with styles, there are some predefined set of values, OK, that we can use. Again, those are the fixed defined from CSS. That's what we call it style, right, CSS. So there are some fixed uh, defined predefined set of uh, values that we'll use. But over a period of time, when you work, you get used to it and you will know each one of them by heart. Even if you don't want to buy hard, the editor will help you. OK, that being said, let me show you how to add some styles in HTML to keep your application that we are building more beautiful and more elegant. OK, all right. So let's get started. I'll open the code. So today, what are we learning? We are learning about this style attribute. And like I said, you can add style attribute to all the elements. OK, all right. So you see an example here we added style equal to background color right that's nice let's let me now customize it and show you how we can add more so this is for the background color so now I've made it light yellow and then I'm saying add the color as let's say dark blue so now this is dark blue or let's say I want to build a black and white solid uh, resume so you can use a light gray color right you can say f5 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 if you're asking me how I know this is gray color that's only because with experience you would use them so many times that you would already all, you will get it <laughs> you'll buy hard it over a period of time so you can see these are all the available things that you can use in CSS okay you can use font family font weight I'm saying make it bold now see this experience, it has become 400, right? But now if I make it 700, it will become more bold, right? The scale, it will scale basically. Similarly, I want to say that um, for education, let's make it font size 30 pixel. That means I'm going to hike that font size. So I'm using style equal to font size. Now similarly, I'm going to say that I need, okay, right? So I'm going to make it all look little beautiful now. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy what I'm doing, okay? All right, so first thing, I'm going to make it text decoration, uh, underline, okay, oops, underline. So I'm making my first page as underlined. If you don't like it, you can remove it. No worries. Now then I'm going to say this is as this. All the sections in the page should have the gray color. OK, that's what I want. So I'm going to take this and apply that background color to experience. OK, I'll not do any copy paste. OK, because a lot of times you guys tell me that I do copy paste quickly and you are not able to follow. So I'm going to delete all the styles. OK, so let's say we have this way. Now let's decorate it. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to say um, first, I'm going to say style. That's what we are learning, right? 
and I'm going to say color equal to I'm going to say dark green okay I'm making a green color headline and I'm going to say arc tutorials give some proper meaningful names so okay arc tutorials that's the name and let's say you want to give um, experience is a section right so we are going to say background color should be a little bit grayish color so I'm going to give DDD and I'm going to say font size should be 20 pixel right or you can say 25 okay and then for education and hobbies too I'm going to say the same styling so they look exactly same background color DDD which is for gray color if you don't know D, the hexa codes you can just write gray also okay like this but it will be dark gray but if you want a lighter shade of gray use DDD and font size I'm going to say 25 pixel and they both look same now similarly for hobbies let's style it now you'll ask why am I only using one color and not all uh, that's because there has to be uniformity in the page okay again you can make it yellow green blue whatever color you want but to make it much more readable and much more symmetric you can use colors okay all right um, so that's about it or I can just make this as background color uh, green and color as white white is triple F okay so that's how it looks right now and if you want you can make it even better color with right much I don't know if you like that color but do let me know which is your favorite color I would love to hear that okay so that's how I'm going to stick to and don't forget to close because when you don't close it will create problems okay all right so now we have that um, this is how the page looks right now so these are all the basic styles that I'm using so if you talk about the styles the one that I have used is background color I have used color for text color then I have used font size right you can use font weight to make it bold okay let's say you want to highlight certain things you can just say font weight bold and see now this section will become bold see it has become bold because I have said font weight as bold okay so these are some of the basic things that you will need okay one important thing that people keep asking how do I center align this right so so you can use text align center okay so now it is in the center of the page right for that the style attribute is text align center okay so try out these things uh, basic things I'll cover these in detail as we move forward these are some of the things that you can use to jazz up your um, web page and add some details color style font and make it elegant okay I'm going to show you one last thing before I leave you which is for the body okay I'm going to apply font family okay so now these are the available ones on my system so you can use now see how quickly the page changes if you don't want this just type stick to if you want lucida science or right looks much better now let me know which is your favorite font or which one are you using I tend to use Verdana that looks much better and readable right um, again it's up to your choice I'm not going to say or tell you which one you should use um, but do let me know which one you have used okay slowly if you see the page comes up this is how any live website is done styles are applied but again style is not applied like this for that you have to refer to my CSS tutorial where I'm teaching again in HTML also I will teach you but this is just to keep your motivation going okay I hope you are designing with me I hope your web page is looking better than mine with more content 
and that's how we'll keep learning okay so this was just an exposure to some of the um, CSS attributes and values uh, that we'll use so we'll continue building on it in the next episode I'll cover the pre tag um, to format the data multi-line support etc I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you I really hope you are learning I really hope you are getting value out of this series thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode